Well, my name is Kurt Joyner. I've been coming to the church for four years. When my wife and I first got married, very nervous about finances. Things were very tight. And my wife actually said right away that we should give 10% to the Lord and that we should save 10% for our future. And I kind of knew our numbers and I thought, that's not going to work. And unfortunately, I wrestled the financial control of the household away from my wife. And, um, and then I wasn't obedient in the area of tithing, giving, saving, anything. So our finances were cursed for years. I thought money was the answer. You know, so I made a certain amount of money at my job. And, and I thought, well, if I made more, my problems would go away. And I started a business and my income grew. My income grew 10 times bigger than where it was when I had my job. But what happened was my problems got 10 times worse <laughs> um, because I, I was still disobedient in that area. As, as we made more money, we spent more. I did not put my money, you know, I didn't put God first. I didn't tithe, I didn't save. Um, it was just a lack of faith. I really looked at myself uh, as the, the provider for the family instead of God being the ultimate provider for the family. And that led to, you know, a place where I finally had to tap out. At that point, I just said, you know, God, uh, I'm going to do it your way. I'm going to trust you. Um, you know, I just, I don't want control anymore. I'm trying to carry a burden that I don't need to carry. So I'm going to lay it at your feet and I'm going to do what you say. And that's when we started tithing and we started giving. And um, it was a mustard seed of faith. It wasn't this bold act of faith. I actually went to my wife and I said, honey, um, okay, you say you want to tithe, you want to do this. I'm going to turn the finances over to you. You tithe, you save, and we'll see how it goes. About six months later, uh, I go to my wife. So how's it going? Thinking we're a mess, you know? She's all, it's going great. I said, what do you mean? She's all, we're tithing, we're saving. I said, how are the bills getting paid? She goes, there's more than enough. And that's a promise in the scriptures that if you trust me and test me in this, I'll pour out more than enough. Once we started to have breakthrough in these areas and I trusted God and, and he started to create a heart of generosity in me, um, I started to stop focusing on myself and I started to look at others and I saw the needs that were out there. And then it just started to create a heart of giving. We love supporting here at The Way because every dollar we give here gets multiplied. Lives are changed and transformed. It's the greatest feeling in the world. And then to know every day that it's not my job to provide for my family. My job is to be obedient and God will provide for my family. He'll take care of me.